Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Sunday. All right, guys, well, we have some Jersey drama to get into and also some Real Housewives of Atlanta, Kim Zolciak. Now, Croy is making videos and posting them on social media. This divorce is getting messy as hell. Now, don't forget that we also have hot, messy topics tomorrow. Jason's going to be leaving out of town Tuesday through Sunday. So he's going to be posting videos of his trip to go see Captain Sean in Cape Cod. He's going to post those on the members only. And then we're going to be doing members only morning meetings. That's going to be coming up soon as well because Vanderpump Rules is over. You guys get it. But we will be back for hot, messy topics tomorrow. Do all the YouTube things. Smash the like button. And let's get to the jazzy drama. Right? It's time for all your binge-worthy pop culture news. Welcome to Up and Adam. Frank Catania, Frank Catania, Frank Catania. Listen, I love Frank on the show. I think that he's great. I think he's interesting. And I love when he does interviews because even when he did, I think it was the morning toast, he did an interview talking about Jackie Goldschneider being demoted. And that was absolutely true. And now he's doing two teas in a pod with Tamara Judge and Teddy Mellencamp. Let's get into it. Thank you to Reality Blurb. Frank Catania revealed what he's heard about the Real Housewives of New Jersey season 14 cast while appearing on Tamara and Teddy's podcast on Friday. As Dolores Catania's ex-husband reacted to the nasty things Teresa has said about him and accused Louis of not only leaking confidential information on social media, but also of costing him, Joe Gorga and Joe Benigno, a show on another network. Frank dished on the new season and seemingly confirmed Sunk son Frankie Jr. will not be featured on future seasons. Oof, that was a mouthful. Frankie always did enjoy the show, but I think he's done at this point. I mean, I could also see, listen, little Frankie too. Avery Singer just said this on, um, I believe, I forgot what it was on, but she said this in an interview. She said, it's really difficult to have anybody on or to be on a reality show and be the daughter of a person who's on a reality show or the son of a person who's on a reality show because your parents are on TV and it's hard to get a job. I'm going to play the audio clip from Two T's in a Pod really quick. Here we go. Yourself, Joe, and Joe. All right. Tentatively, tentatively had in to deal with a network. All mm -hmm. right. Not Bravo. All right. Not Peacock, not NBC. Joe... Joe and I would have been there less because we had, you know, had this other tentative deal with another network who's a little bit of a conservative network. And I then when these things started coming out on the internet, which I do believe was the result of Louie, all right, mm -hmm. uh, and a smear campaign uh, through through another a company, a very prominent company, uh, we lost it. We lost that. Myself, Joe, and Joe, okay. right? Tentatively, tentatively so had in to deal this. with an there was another video. There's a lot of rumor online that you didn't actually have a problem with Louie, that Joe Gorga and Margaret got you all revved up right before the reunion. Is that true? False. That's false. There's nothing that bothers me more when I get all this social media saying I'm either Team Gorga or Team Teresa. Guys, I'm not Team anybody. As anybody will see over the years, I try to stay neutral. All right. It just so happens that I had an issue with the same person that Joe Gorga had an issue with. That doesn't mean I am team Joe. I support Joe. I support Teresa, but I'm not team anybody. I'm team Frank. I actually and love what you just said. Yeah. I'm going to use that again. Are you team? Let's say, are you team Shannon or Vicky? No, I'm team Tamara. There's a lot of rumor. Oh, okay. No, I'm team Tamara. We know that Tamara. Gotta love Tamara. But Frank Catania makes a great point. I'm not team Joe and Melissa or team Teresa and Louie. I'm team me. Because at the end of the day, if you're watching anybody on the outside looking in, which would be anybody aside from Joe, Melissa, Teresa, and Louie and their kids, on the outside looking in, you can see where both sides have very valid points. Like both of them have great arguments. Both of them, it sounds like a little wonky on. It, it, it's just wild to watch. But let's get back into it. When he heard talking about little Frankie, when he heard that it was going to be talked about, it's like talking him off the ledge for three days. It it was really bad. That's what he revealed, refusing to say much about the drama, but confirming his issues with Louie were unrelated to Frankie. Your children's job, it's much, much, much more important than my ego. The only thing I will say is everyone out there saying I had an issue with Louie in respect to Frankie Jr. It had nothing to do with Frankie working for Louie. 
Louis gave him experience. Louis gave him connections. It was an incredible experience. It had nothing to do with that. It had something to do with other things, but it wasn't that bad. It just escalated. At least he's being a good dad saying, at the end of the day, I'm not throwing my, my kid works here or worked for him. You know, they have connections. My son wants to be respected in the work field. Yes, we could say anything we want for a show and ratings. Yeah, sure, 100%. Do we want to do that? Absolutely not. Why? Because it's not worth my son's job. This is him just being a good parent because he could throw it out. There are definitely other Bravo celebrities that would have leveraged this and been like, oh, you want to talk about it? Here's the receipts. What about this? And I'm happy that Dolores and Frank aren't doing that to Frankie Jr., Okay. As for why Dolores refused to address the issue at the reunion, Frank explained, any mention of it on the show will cast somewhat of a shadow on him at his job. So that's why Dolores shut it down right away. It's very sensitive. Years into his guest starring role on The Real Housewives of New Jersey, Frank joked that he should be a friend, to say the very least, as he revealed he is not paid from Bravo. Listen, there's some other benefits that come with it, some other appearances. He noted as the lady suggested that he should be getting a day rate. Thank you. Do me a favor. When we're done, can you please call Andy Cohen and let him know that? Frank. I'm curious because the rumor for the longest time was that the husbands in New Jersey were the only husbands who ever actually got paid. I still feel like Joe Gorga has to be collecting somewhat of a paycheck. I don't think it's just appearances for the husbands. But maybe it is. Maybe there's something that we don't know. Hmm. Frank said that while he enjoys filming and hanging out with the guys, this past season was rough. And in addition to that, he didn't even anticipate filming at all. I thought I was going to be off this year. Dolores has a significant other, Paul, who came on, and I thought I was going to be done. But production kept calling me and calling me. It was probably definitely in excess of 10 different scenes that we had to do for this season. So if we had to add to the strength of our significant other's contract when it comes to renegotiations next year, then so be it. Frank then put Louis on blast for leaking details of private discussions that they had off camera. After filming last year, cameras are off. I called Louis and met him for breakfast. And I said, Lou, what can we do to get Teresa and Joe back together? Spoke about it. And I said, listen, I'll mediate between you and Joe. Let's see what we can do. Because that's the only family that they got. One another. And that particular night on social media, what he and I discussed at the meeting showed up on social media. Some of those confidential things. But because he was hopeful for a reconciliation between the Gorgas and Teresa, he tried again. He said, I met with him one time after this, again to discuss it. And then when we left again that night, some of the things that we spoke in confidence about showed up on social media. So I picked up the phone. I called Louis and I said, Louis, do you have a problem with me? What the fuck is going on? Absolutely not, he told me. He said it wasn't him. But obviously, it was a hell of a coincidence. Then, as he heard from the horse's mouth that Louis had hired someone concerning a smear campaign, which got shut down pretty quick, Frank learned the series that he and Joe, well, landed on the other on the other network, got canceled. And that's the one that he was telling Teresa, or sorry, Tamara and Teddy about. It's just what this is wild. And I could have totally have seen Joe and Joe and Frank. It definitely was either a Food Network show, which I totally doubt it, or an HGTV show, which I could completely see because all three of them are in contract. Uh, one's a contractor and the other two are in construction. Actually, I think all three are contractors. So yes, I could see that. But guys, I want to hear what your thoughts are. So go ahead and comment below. Let us know what you think. And more importantly, before you go, don't forget to smash that like button, show some love, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.